Hi, I'm Christina. Um, this is Chapter 1, Dare 1. And it's called Spring Clean Your Temple. It's about good habits and bad habits. Water, lots and lots of water. I would say is good. Um, some things that I thought about is body coffee, which I used actually to calm down. But if you're, especially if you're avoiding ingesting caffeine, rubbing it on you is good. Um, your palms and your soles of your feet are vortexes energetically. Obviously, great places to rub vetiver for grounding, um, coffee for energizing, or soothing yourself if you're feeling over anxious. Sometimes, you know, caffeine not ingested can invigorate the outside of your body. And allow the inside of your body to calm down and find balance. Um, red wine, fabulous. Uh, Vital Yogi also makes incredible oils. My favorite tincture, of course, in times like these. Um, calm in body, ashwagandha, hawthorn, skullcap, lavender, and milky oats to calm the tummy. I also really like the Vital Body Tonic, which is an immune adaptogen, and it really helps soothe the nervous system, is what I've experienced. And you can put it in your tea. They also are the best tasting tinctures ever. And things that taste good, that's what a juicy life is about. That's what being a pinup is about. Savoring flavors, even of your medicine. Your medicine should taste good. It shouldn't be a jagged pill or a bitter pill to swallow. Things that I do that I'd like to do more of every day, yoga, my ballet bar, uh, tai chi, which I have not done enough of in life really. For the last uh, 8 to 10 months I've been swimming as much as possible. Um, a year ago I could not lift my son. He weighed about 50 pounds and it hurt all over just to lift him up. And now I can swing him around and he weighs 60 pounds. And I, that's 100% swimming because I just started doing the other things in the last month or so. Um, a lot of my habits that I might consider good habits, other people consider bad habits, like the red wine, um, in the evenings, or what else? Um, sometimes I eat sugar, but I like raw cane sugar, and I believe they're much better than artificial sweeteners. Do the research. And I like to eat meat occasionally, although I struggle with that, for sure. Um, I've been vegan. My body prefers it, but my mind has craved uncertain things <laughs> in the last few years, and that makes us who we are, and that's okay. Um, I actually, in the list I made, I just noticed what some consider bad habits, but I might consider good politics, and um, watching lots of movies, but for me, that's a lot about watching film and seeing what other people are making and doing with their time and expressing and some of the stuff I'm going to leave in my journal. Uh, all I have being obnoxious or overexposed on Facebook, which may soon apply to YouTube. I have no idea. Certainly smoking um, tobacco. I, you know, just didn't smoke for eight months. And then I had a fairly traumatic morning with a, a person that I care very much about. And I went immediately and bought a pack of cigarettes with filters because my hands were shaking that I couldn't even roll just plain tobacco. So... But American Spirit's organic, and that's what you should smoke if you need tobacco. I feel like um, that's probably enough exposure for me personally today. Some other really positive things that I've been doing that I listed in my journal. Uh, oil pulling and dry brushing, which I learned from Bodhisattva of Vital Yogi. And they've been very effective. I would like to add the neti pot. One of our assignments for the next, the rest of our six weeks in boot camp was to add some things and neti pot is something I've been struggling with. Um, getting my grad school applications in and more yoga. I've been doing a lot of dance every day but even more of it would be fine. And then I think piano practicing for sure I've been told I have to do every day. Chuck. Yes sir Chuck. I'm gonna do it every day. And then I also have positive things that I do, breath work, uh, somatic reading of my body, chakra clearing, meditation, uh, just more recently binaural beats and solfeggio arpeggios, which are really magical within the body. You can feel 
the movement of healing energies within yourself. Oh yeah, I forgot to take the rest of my rollers out, and I'm almost done. Um, taking care of my family is a daily practice. Being present with the people in my life. Um, being in the present moment. Remembering to take your rollers out before you go to the grocery store. Or before you have a photo shoot <laughs> as a pinup girl. Um, writing and painting when I can. Staying in touch with that creative energy. Even if you have a, a career that is more, whatever you'd like to call it, logical. A more logical career. A more left-brained career. A career that demands you use your body in a way that maybe you don't enjoy as much. Maybe it's a little too repetitious. It's even more important to stay in touch with that creative energy. So find what you enjoy doing and attempt to do it every day until you do it every day. Do I have an afro? Cough it up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I thought she was laughing at me, but no. she was choking. Choking. No choking. Well, I mean, unless you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> Apparently I am. Puff, puff, pass. We hear a lot of coughing in those circles. We're not even in one of those circles, but we would like it to be legal now. I'm going to end on that note. <laughs>